This training video covers the PR helmet. Key components include front, right side, and left side lens mounts, right and left side snaps, and rear top snaps, a rear bottom snap, a rear underside three position flow control switch, a rear underside power cord turn lock connector, two front underside snaps and two rear underside snaps for the liner, a front underside safety LED display. Note that all PR helmets ship with a cage on top, snap to the side and top rear snaps, a liner attached to the underside four snaps, a chin bar, and a power cord attached to the turn and lock connector. Details of the cage, liner, and chin bar are covered in their separate videos. The cage provides protection for the motor blower during shipping. It is left on the helmet during use as a filter frame for all hood outfits. The front right side and left side lens mounts are the mounts for all PR hood lenses. The side and rear top snaps are for attaching the cage to the helmet. The chin bar shipped with the PR helmet may be removed and replaced by standard side tabs. Refer to the chin bar training video for more details. The rear underside flow control switch allows the wearer to adjust the airflow range to best suit their activity and comfort level. The airflow ranges in liters per minute are indicated in the table and are detailed in the user instructions received with each helmet. The rear underside power cord turn lock connector allows for a secure and quick connect and disconnect of the helmet to battery power cord. To connect the right angle notch power cord connector to the helmet, first match the cord connector notch to the extended portion of the helmet turn lock connector. When aligned, simply push the cord connector fully into the helmet connector. Then turn the cord connector approximately 180 degrees, so the cord is exiting out from under and backward of the helmet. To remove the power cord from the helmet, first turn the power cord connector so that the cord is pointing in the 11 o'clock position, viewed looking at the underside of the helmet. The cord connector notch should now be realigned with the extended portion of the helmet turn lock connector. When aligned, simply pull the cord connector straight up and out of the helmet turn lock connector. The four underside snaps, two in front and two to the rear, are for attaching the liner. Refer to the liner video. The front underside safety LED display provides an always-on during use, heads-up display of the airflow and battery charge remaining status. These provide real-time, peace-of-mind assurance to the wearer of the safe operating status of their Max Air system. The LED display is visible to the user as a reflection off the lens as they slightly glance up in their peripheral vision. Refer to the user instructions shipped with each helmet for the detailed explanation of these lights. This concludes the Max Air PR Helmet user training video.